First in Utah, the local Republican races are heating up. 11 News reporter Ariel Harrison attended a local Meet the Candidates event. Ariel, which contenders are the people excited about? Well, 17 speakers showed up to speak to the candidates, but people stayed around to meet, well, to hear two specific GOP candidates speak. The state convention is less than two weeks away, and with positions up for grabs like governor and the U.S. and state, state Senate, people say they want to know the candidate behind the campaign. This is where I chose to spend my birthday. Matthew Skanky is not the ordinary BYU student because Matthew chose to spend his birthday talking with Utah Republican candidates. So it's our future, right? I mean, we're the ones who are going to be inheriting debt. We're the ones who are going to be living here. Like Matthew, delegates from districts in South Provo say they want to know more about the candidates running for office before the state convention in a couple of weeks. So organizers put together a Meet the Candidates event. Senator Orrin Hatch and opponent Dan Lillianquist both made an appearance and answered questions and concerns delegates had. Dan is a fantastic individual who, if he's a senator, would bring a great deal of knowledge to the Senate. And But then you have Senator Hatch who is responsible for every single fantastic um, Supreme Court justice we have. Delegates could talk to the candidates directly at the event, but some say they left wanting more information. At all the um, candidates who are underfunded um, speak, and it was really hard to to get a feel for them, given the fact they only had a few minutes. People came from all over Utah County to hear 17 different speakers. And even though speakers started at 8.30 a.m., many stuck around till 3 and 4 to hear Hatch and Lillinquist speak. Some even got to practice how to say... It's actually a Swiss. People who are interested in seeing which candidates get nominated can attend the Republican State Convention on April 21st at the Southtown Expo Center. And if people have more questions on the convention, they can go to my story at 11news.byu.edu. Okay, thanks, Ariel.